Welcome back, everybody, to your Guam Basketball Association semifinal number one as the Autospot Phoenix Suns take the court for the fourth and final quarter. We think it's final. If we go into overtime, that would be a huge comeback. If that's to happen, Jason, they need to find 10 points, and they need to find it in a hurry. Team or Justice nursing a 10-point lead here. As high as 18 Justice. at one point. Ah, Cooper may be getting away with a travel there. Seve Sisuiko from downtown. Big man going outside. And Bradley, nice ball control. Good offensive rebound from Romeo Sanchez and finding the cutting uh, Ollie Cooper for the finish. Oh, I'm sorry, Ollie Bradley for the finish. Lead down to Aid Royster back in the game. We had to sit out most of the third in foul trouble. Wow, nice, nice uh, pump fake there. Dominic Sablon, who's played most of the game. Nice Locked pass. Locked from behind on Sasuiko by Royster. Nice pass, but and those two Royster players, all over it. Those two players know each other very, very well. They've been playing at the highest level of Guam basketball for a long time. Good block by Royster. Kick out to Rechabong. And Reggie Rechabong from one of the most talented basketball families Guam has ever produced. His sister's legends at Simon Sanchez High School. Reggie himself a legend at yep. Simon Sanchez. Nice Speaking shot. of legend, there's a baseline. Was that a three or was that a two? Looks like a three. And the refs were going to say a three, so a six-point lead now. And auto spot coming back on the power of Ollie Bradley. To think that they were down as money as 18 in the first half. Royster. Here comes Dominic Sablon, who's shown us some amazing moves so far. Dominic Sablon hasn't taken a lot of shots this ball game, surprisingly. As Bradley's got to put it up with the 24 second clock right winding down. And John Chaco working in the land of the giant redwoods to come away with that ball. Ahead to Espinoza, nicely done. It's dangerous. Dangerous defensive possession by the Suns. And they gave up that extra that easy two points there. Yeah, now this is what Auto Spot can't do. They can't afford to have a mental breakdown or a turnover. Yeah. No. Close yeah. one there. And almost right on cue. Sablon gets away with that. Nice move right there by Cooper. Good follow up. Bradley by Seve lost Sisuiko. a handle on that, but Johnny on the spot. Seve Susuiko, number eleven. Great tip back. And that is that is national team caliber play right there. Yeah. Sixty-five fifty-nine. Time running out on the twenty-four. Wow, nice ball. Oh, good block. Clean block, the refs say. Wow, nice touch pass by Sanchez. And Cooper can't finish. Cooper can't finish. Oh, there's contact. Man. And it's going to be an and one. And Romeo Sanchez and the auto spot bench are fired up. That is veteran play, man. Sanchez with a big play there. Lead down to six with a chance to go narrow it to five. And timeout called by Chief Justice Robert Torres. So Sanchez, the oldest player on the court, but showing that he still has a lot of moves in his uh, playbook. Yeah, Sanchez worked hard that possession. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, he was going up against like at least two guys. And you know, this this is what Team Justice needs to do right now. Regroup, refocus, get their best player on the court, Derek Royster, you know, like calm him down because he is really frustrated, especially after that last position where there fouls. was a lot of he's, contact. He's, he's, I think he's one foul away. Is he? Yeah, from fouling out. Yeah, yeah Roy, Royster and Ollie Bradley really been going at each other this game. Mm -hmm. But that's what you need. You need your top superstars to kind of push the pace uh, on the opposing team. Lead now just four for From Team Justice. From 18 to four. From four 18 down. Lead. What a game. I thought, it was, I thought it was done. I thought it was done like at the start of the second half, really. Like 18 points, that's a lot to come back uh, from. This is playoff basketball. Yeah. 
the Phoenix Suns showing that they really do belong here. They earned this playoff seed. Sanchez with a chance to convert the three-point play here. So make sure, everybody, if you're watching this game on our YouTube channel, make sure to share it with your friends because this is shaping up to be an instant classic. Sanchez very, very uh, clutch there. Lead down to three, so we are looking at a one-possession game, if you can believe it. Jay Casemiro back into the game. Team Justice going with a very experienced lineup. We got Charferis, Royster, Casemiro, uh, Retrobong, and Espinosa. One second on the clock. Kin Charfer just got it off, but bad shot. Good defense on the side of auto spot. Wow. Bradley gave up the three to drive. And that foul is going to be on, on Casemiro uh. on the reach-in. Casemiro is a crafty defender, you know. Five fifty-eight, less than six minutes left to go in what has been an amazing game, especially in the Sanchez last ten with the minutes. Open look, making that extra pass, nice ball. Estella to Sanchez and Romeo Sanchez providing to be the spark plug that Auto Spot needs. Romeo Sanchez has a lot Lead of need only one. Yeah, this is crazy. He has a lot of experience. I mean, he, he's going to be able to bait the, the block attempt and, and get the easy uh, easy field goal from that range. Yeah, Casemiro with a bad air ball that time. Ken, how has Autospot been able to climb all the way back from 18 down? Yeah, they, they're, they've they really buckled down on defense, and they've kind of developed their offensive set a lot better. You know, just just try to get the ball, make that extra pass to to Sanchez, who's really, you know, now he's converting. He's really hit a lot of shots the second half. Yeah. He was having trouble making those layups in the in the first, but he's really come alive here. Yep. Ollie Bradley, Romeo Sanchez, and Brian Cooper have provided the offense. Dominic Sablan with the leadership as Sablan. Nice rebound by Sanchez. Sablan a you know little what? I like too that. short. I like that attempt, though, by Sablan. Yeah. It opens up the court a lot for the other players, like Cooper, who takes the three. Oh. Cooper called bank. Hey, he'll Why take not? it. And the first lead of the ball game is now owned by the Auto Spot Phoenix Suns, 67 65, with five minutes and five seconds left to go. Badly missed by Casemiro. And we get a foul. Royster's going to go to the line. And for the very first time, the Phoenix Suns have the lead. Since, the, yeah, they were down 8 0 to start that game off. Casemiro and uh, Cooper. They've basically gone 43 minutes in this ball game without the lead. Oh man, and Royster missing that free throw. He needs these. Team Justice needs these free throws right here. Yeah. And what Justice needs to do, give Derek Royster, like, let him play his game, have him hit a couple big shots. Now we got a so one point lead for the Guam Auto Spot Phoenix Suns, the first lead of the game. Estella with the open look. Oh, we get contact. Nobody getting that ball, so Sablan comes up with it. Estella, the pullback, Jay, can't make it, and rebounded by Royster. Derek Royster, of course, is going to have to play defense very, very carefully. He is in major foul trouble. Nice defense by Dominic Sablan. Casemiro. Nice move by Charfris here. Casemiro inside to the right <laughs> hand, and the I southpaw uses the other hand. Nice. Man, that guy's crafty. He's a skilled player. Yeah. He, I think a very underrated player. Casemiro can really uh, produce offensively and defensively. Yeah, you know when, when people say that when they say you know Jay Casemiro is a scrappy player, that is not a pejorative term. As Sablan to nice the hole. Finish. Dominic Sablan leading. We've had four lead changes in the last 40 seconds alone. Great move right there with Sablan, making them respect the drive and just finding that layup. Auto spot 69, Team Justice 68. This we are on the happening. cusp, Ken, 
Oh, this is happening. Yeah. Man, that is crazy. They were down 18. This is happening. The struggle is real, as you would say. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I, I, I guess Guam on a spot, the Phoenix Suns, they've really pulled it together the second half. And and now they're reaping the rewards of that effort. You know, it, it just seemed like, you know, there was a 12-point lead after halftime. It it didn't seem like they came back that quickly, but, you know, they're up by one now with 3.53 left to go. You know, a lot of it in the third quarter, it was a messy third quarter, but messy for both teams. And then that lead went from 18 down to 10. And, you know, a lot, a lot of free throws, too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And he, uh, Royster was in a lot of foul trouble that, that quarter. So uh, it's really proven to be a deciding factor so far in the game. But still, anything can happen. Justice, you know, they have the firepower. Uh, and the experience to put this game away. So both teams, they've got three in it, three or almost four minutes to uh, kind of close this game out. The team Justice retaking the court. These guys all know each other well. These guys, friends, teammates, co-workers. You know, everyone's still in good spirits, and that's what I like. I, as competitive this game is, we got players on the court still joking around, having a good time. No one guarding Charfers here. Oh. And Seve Sisuiko got his hand on that ball as Sablan comes away. Sablan wisely resetting the pace, waiting for the rest of his teammates so they can create some kind of offensive set here. Cooper passing on the three. Nice pass by Estella. Sablan, where's Sablan's three-point game? we got game? like six seconds left on the shot and clock And ball gets away from Ollie Bradley. Very uncharacteristically loses the handle. Royster. And we're going to get the charge. And the charge. Dominic Sablan. So that's basically 5-5 five, five going up against 6-4. You know, Dominic Sablan is a very scrappy player. A lot like Casemiro. You know, he, he knows. He, he'll put his body out there. And he did. And... Now his team's going to get the ball and another foul for Royster. But you I'd know be what? interested that, to see how many fouls that's Royster just, has. That's just what the ref saw, but don't blame Derek Royster for that play because he maintained his balance, he hung in the air, and he made the shot. But, you know, the ref just said it was too much contact for not to be a charge. Estella, time running out. Just got the shot off. And an offensive rebound. Semi Sesuiko with the rebound misses. Estella does not. 71-68, and we are still in a one-possession ball game. Two-second chance opportunities right there. That's got to be backbreaking for the team Good justice. point. And that inside play, and, you know, even though Seve Sesuiko missed the shot, Autospot could not have done that without Seve Sesuiko. As Casemiro hit the deck, and he is down on the far side of the court. As play continues with Cooper... Airballing a long three. Casemiro back up. John Chaco running the, the court right now. Two minutes and eight seconds. Still a lot of time. Oh, near steal for Cooper. Wow, nice, tough shot by uh, Derek Royster there. That has been the hardest shot of the game so far. That was a difficult shot. 71-70. Auto spot up one. And now Team Justice has had to play, play in the very unfamiliar role of playing from behind in this game. Sosuiko. And are they going to say that's a three or a two? Yeah, that's a three. Three-pointer for Seve Sosuiko. That's a big shot. That 73 to seven. No, they're going to say oh, it's, it's a two. two. It's, it's a, a two. long two. Foot on the line. 73 to 70. 128 left to go. It's still anybody's ball game. Eight seconds left on the shot clock. Chaco with that deep three. Casemiro with a big rebound. Blocked there. Oh, nice hustle by both teams here. Casemiro drawing contact, no foul. Wow, that was a wise. And Ollie the crowd Bradley. going crazy now. Ollie Bradley tipping that off the backboard to himself. Yeah. That was a wise defensive play. Great game so far between these two teams. Sablon, Dominic Sablon, two-point shot, but he's made it a two-possession ball game. With less than a minute left, Jason, this is a great game so far. Ollie Bradley can has the most points for Auto Spot, but Dominic Sablon is provided 
the leadership as Casemiro will go to the line for three shots. I'm man. That's a veteran that, play. That he. That's he, a veteran play. This guy is so sneaky, man. Like, wise play right there. You know, he's a threat from beyond the arc. You you gotta guard him and wisely drawing the contact there. We've seen Reggie Rechabong do that earlier this season. We've seen J.P. Cruz of, of the MVP Marauders do that. And now Jay Casemiro very strategically draws a contact on a three-point shot. Yeah. His team down now five and 38 seconds left to go in what would be the upset of the season. And, oh, by the way, it happens to be the semifinals. Yeah. that's I. The Suns were as down as many as 18, Jason, at, at the beginning of the second half or so. And they've really come back strong defense and yeah you know people finding the rhythm finding the range romeo sanchez with a lot of points the second half uh and even dominic sablon you know coming up with that nice jumper just a few minutes ago they've, they've really turned it on offensively and you know give credit to ej calvo and you know his crew for auto spot these guys never hung their heads they never gave up they always kept playing they never got soft yeah and that's why they're here in this spot so they're up five it's now it's up to uh team justice to convert so but Casemiro is a very good free, point, uh, free throw shooter as well, so let's see if he can hit all three. Or maybe they purposely missed the second or the third. I don't know. We'll see. This is probably going to be the longest 38 seconds of a lot of these gentlemen's lives because there are some players on, on the court now. We have not seen a lot of substitutions from either of these teams basically this entire quarter. So there's a lot of guys out, out there right now sucking wind. Casemiro hitting the first. You know, one thing I noticed is that this uh, Justice lineup is a lot smaller than uh, the other looks that they gave earlier in the game. Um, and that that's what has caused a lot of issues on the defensive end. The Phoenix Suns are able to get a lot of second-chance opportunities off offensive rebounds, and it's been the difference. Casemiro, that was a costly miss. Third of three, and he misses that one, too. And Dominic Sablon gets the ball, and... Contact called. Thirty-four seconds left to go. Team Justice down four, 75-71. Reggie Rechabong back into the game. And that is not a guy, Ken, that you want to leave even a little bit open this late into the game because Reggie can make him from anywhere. Sablan wisely slowing the pace down. They got and the press coming from Justice. A foul on Rechabong and Brian Cooper will go to the line for two. Auto Spot has the advantage of Team Justice being in the foul right now. Auto Spot has three team fouls, so they got a little bit of leeway to play with. As Cooper backrooms the first, his team up four. Once again, 75, 71, 25 seconds left to go in what has been a Herculean effort uh, hits by that the Phoenix Suns. There. They're up five here. Oh, difficult. Chaco swinging around to Espinoza, wide open. Espinoza, Espinoza three. with a three. That's a hard three. Man, what a shot right there. They need a foul. Dominic Sablan hustling and so two point game. You know, and all of a sudden these free throws became a lot more important. Uh, Sablan, hopefully, if he can hit both, he can put this away. So Dominic Sablon, FD class of 2012, if memory serves, and hits the first. That's a big free throw for him. Puts his team up three. 77-74, 10 seconds left to go. This place is going to erupt, especially and on the hits both. Phoenix Sun side as Sablon has made it a four-point game. So I guess Team Justice needs a three here, right? I mean, they need a three and they need a foul. And they need a quick foul. And they need a, yeah, hope that the Suns miss their free throws, I guess. And how deliciously ironic is it, Ken, that the very thing 
that got Team Justice to this point, the thing they did so very well in the first three quarters of play is hitting three-point shots. They basically, if they don't make a three-point shot in this first position, it's over. Yeah, I mean, the irony is great there. So, and it's, it's more than just hitting the three. They need a three, then they need a foul, and then they need another, uh, another bucket. So um, it's, uh, that's tough. Ref's already conferring in midcourt saying, you know, let's look for the contact because these guys are going to foul fast. And, you know, it wasn't like Team Justice offensively went ice cold. It's just Phoenix really turned it on in the fourth quarter. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they're really consistent. Surprised that Casemiro is not in here. Espinoza way wow. downtown, and Espinoza hits a prayer off the glass. We are still alive. Do not go anywhere. As nice Cooper. Foul right there. That's, and that's probably as ideal. A lead foul. only one. So even if Cooper makes these two free throws, Ken, we could still have possibly a prayer of a three point shot. I don't even think Espinoza thought that three was going to go in. Like, everyone was just shocked there. Man, what a game. And now... Espino Espinoza basically, like, let it fly and then started backpedaling already in case he needed to play defense, and it just perfectly off the glass. That was a shot, man. Those are two big three-pointers for yeah, Espinoza. Es Espinoza has been the man in the fourth quarter. All right, in this last minute of the game, for certain. This is big. These free throws... You know, I said it, like, 20 seconds ago, but these are really important free throws right here. Once again. And there's a little bit of a conference going on at the scorer's table. Are they saying that was not a three-point shot? No, I think they're trying to work on the time. But I think that's right. There, there was a lot of time on that possession. 78-77. Oh, they're going to give it five seconds. Okay, so, so the clock was at three, and they're going to say now it's five. So the clock does stop at the, as soon as the ref blows the whistle for the foul. Espinoza playing out of his mind the last 60 seconds. He needs both free throws. It's the first. And, and there are no timeouts. I don't think they have a time timeout, so they need a quick outlet pass. Espinoza already running. Like, he's already, he knows, you know. Huge shot right here. Hits both. Three-point ball game. Game reminiscent. Royster for the... Oh, what a... And that is going to do good. it, ladies and gentlemen. 18 points down the auto spot. Phoenix Suns come all the way back. And they will advance to the Guam Basketball Association's inaugural championship game by defeating Team Justice 80 to 77. Ken, that was an amazing game. I, I'm in awe. I can't believe that that happened. They were up 18 points. And, you know, even that last minute of play, big shots by Espinosa, two big three pointers. Uh, you know, neither team can walk away dejected. You know, uh, both teams showing that they are, uh, they've got some of the, the best uh, basketball talent on island, definitely. And that's the first of our two semifinals. Yeah, well, <laughs> the second game, you know, featuring, you know, Team Four Star and the Sushi Rockets, you know, which we'll have on KUM TV and on our YouTube channel, that's coming up. And, you know, this is going to be a tough act to follow. But stay tuned, everybody. We will wrap up this game when we come back. Stay tuned. Final thoughts after this.